In the last 77 years of India's independence, few stories capture the nation's spirit like this one. A story that began in a modest prayer hall and today orbits the moon, Mars and beyond. 21st of November 1963, Thumba, near Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. The first Indian rocket in Nike Apache, supplied by NASA, was ready for launch. And can you guess how the nose cone of this rocket arrived? Well, on a bicycle. And the payload? It was assembled in the prayer hall of a small church. That humble church later became the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre, named after the visionary father of India's space programme. Thumba was chosen for its ideal location, close to the Earth's magnetic equator, perfect for atmospheric and upper atmospheric research. But the work had started even earlier. In 1962, under scientist Homi Bhabha and Vikram Sarabhai, the Indian National Committee for Space Research or INCOSPAR was set up under the Department of Atomic Energy. Their mission was clear to use space technology for communication, meteorology and education, not for mere prestige. Among the young rocket engineers was a man who would later become India's president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. In 1965, the Space Science and Technology Centre was established at the Veli Hills near Thiruvananthapuram, marking the start of an indigenous launch vehicle development. By 1967, India had set up its first experimental satellite communication, Earth Station in Ahmedabad, laying the groundwork for satellite communication. And later, in 1968, the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi dedicated the Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station to the United Nations, emphasizing India's commitment to peaceful space research. On 15th of August 1969, India's 22nd Independence Day, INCOSPAR was transformed into the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, accelerating India's space program. In 1971, the Satish Dhawan Space Center was established at Andhra Pradesh's Sri Harikota, soon to become ISRO's primary launch site that would witness decades of breakthrough launches. The year of 1972 saw the formal creation of India's Department of Space and the Space Commission, consolidating efforts and bringing ISRO under the direct supervision of the Prime Minister of India. In 1975, India launched its first satellite, Aryabhatta, built domestically but launched aboard a Soviet rocket, marking India's first step as a space nation. The 1980s brought big strides. On 18th of July 1980, the Satellite Launch Vehicle 3 or SLV-3, India's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle, placed the Rohini RS-1 into low Earth orbit from Sri Harikota. At just 41 kilos, Rohini was small, but the achievement was massive. India became the sixth nation in the world capable of launching its own satellites. ISRO then developed the augmented satellite launch vehicle ASLV in the 1980s and 90s, which paved the way for more powerful rockets. In 1984, India's reach extended to human space flight when Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma flew aboard the Soviet Soyuz spacecraft to the Salyut 7 space station, becoming India's first astronaut and symbolizing India's pioneering spirit in space. Then came the 1990s and the game-changing polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV, India's third-generation rocket and the first to use liquid stages. Reliable, versatile and affordable, PSLV became ISRO's workhorse, carrying satellites into sun-synchronous, geostationary and other orbits, launching India's ambition even higher. In 2008, Chandrayaan-1, India's first moon mission, made a crucial discovery that captured the world's imagination, clear evidence of water molecules on the lunar surface. Just five years later, the Mars Orbit Mission or Mangalyaan made history. India became the first country to reach Mars on its maiden attempt and did so at a fraction of the cost of similar missions undertaken by other space agencies. ISRO's rockets didn't just serve India, they began launching satellites for other countries as well, dozens at a time. In 2017, APSLV set a world record by launching 104 satellites in orbit in a single mission. 
a triumph of India's engineering and efficiency. Through its commercial arm, Antrix Corporation, ISRO built partnerships with space agencies, private companies and universities around the globe, making India a trusted player in booming global space economy. August of 2023, the moment that made global headlines, Chandrayaan-3 landed near the moon's South Pole. India was the first country to land there and only the fourth country ever to achieve a soft lunar landing. In December 2024, ISRO successfully tested its first space docking experiment, a key step towards in-orbit assembly and supporting human space flight. India's ambitious human space flight program, the Gaganyaan, has entered its final phase now, with the first human space flight scheduled for the first quarter of 2027. In July of 2025, Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla became the first Indian astronaut to visit the International Space Station aboard a privately arranged Axiom 4 mission conducting over 60 experiments in microgravity. ISRO views this as a critical stepping stone towards Gaganyaan. ISRO is now developing reusable launch vehicles and missions to study the Sun, Venus and deep space are also on the horizon. From a modest church launch pad to successful missions across Moon, Mars and beyond, ISRO's journey stands as a testament to vision, perseverance and innovative science. This Independence Day, we salute India's scientists, engineers and dreamers who turned bicycles into launch vehicles and a small prayer hall into a getaway to the stars. Happy Independence Day.